Hello Lola's. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also guys, for the month of December, I am still running the next level chatterbox. Um, so if you want to join until that closes down, you're more than welcome. It is going to be $4.99 per month. And we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is Brayden and Dakota. And Brayden is my Bubbles by Claire Taylor, painted by myself. And this is Billy um, by Kathy Biscuitty and paint it by myself uh, both are cuddle babies with hands and feet i'm going to actually move dakota out of the way so that i can get my brayden over here and get brayden dressed um i just wanted to put them side by side uh, brayden is a full-size baby wherein uh, Dakota is also a full-size baby, but a smaller newborn. So I am going to see how I'm going to do this. So I move my camera just slightly over this way. Um, I always get sleeper babies. I prefer sleeper babies most of the time. But whenever I do get a awake baby, I, I don't know. I seem to be very much connected with the, the awake baby um i think they have a lot of personality a lot of character and so um where are you gonna go Booker? oh um so i think that i love both um i think the awake baby just has to have a realistic look to them so it's very hard for me to uh, connect with a with a awake baby if they are not they have to be realistically done <laughs> i love i love listen don't ever get it twisted brayden is definitely one of my favorites um i just truly truly love this this baby i didn't think that i was gonna love the sculpt as much um just another one that has just really surprised me and i am totally in love with him um, i love his little facial expression i love 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 the size of his feet i loved his sculpting of his hands i am just <laughs> crazy about him I love the way that his painting turned out a lot um he is definitely one of my most favorite painted babies um I don't plan on getting <laughs> letting him go um I laugh when I say that because I know everybody else laugh when I say that so I I laugh at myself before other people <laughs> even begin to do it because I am funny like that he's light so if if it gets a little dark, it's the only way, guys, that I can get in here and get him changed without and try to keep him in the camera. So he's bald, bald, bald headed. That's what I was going to say. He's bald. You guys know I'm a slow rooter. And next year, I'm going to take time off from painting and just root. That's the plan, anyway. Um,. For the first couple months, I'm just going to root. I wasn't, and another thing, I thought I wasn't going to like his body. But I found a way to weight it to where I really, really like it. I feel like it really works for him. He's he's one of my most cuddly babies, and I just love holding him. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to wash some soda. You should have dip um yeah 
I just cuddle babies are just his head is pretty model too by the way let's see whoa um this is him up close I actually he was the first baby that I've ever removed the actual sculptor's eyes out and put my own eyes in and I did that um, and it made a big difference for me so I did change his eyes um, I really I let me tell you something because he had uh he had blue eyes and I don't do blue eyes that often to be honest um it's just not my thing I know a lot of people don't like when I say say that but I absolutely hate seeing um african-american babies with blue eyes gray eyes most of the time I, I do I just don't like the look of it um mostly because it's not as common I know it exists but it's not my thing um even in real babies when I see it it's not something that I'm like on and on over I love brown eyes and I love I do like pretty blue eyes and Caucasian babies especially if they're like a blonde with a uh, blue eyes and stuff um, I just think find it very unnatural when you have a very dark skin black baby and then it has like these piercing blue eyes um, I don't I feel like <clears throat> never mind I won't go that far but I'll just say it's just not my thing so I wasn't sure if he was gonna be biracial or AA so I um I had changed his eyes and then of course I like to paint with my eye, baby's eyes in so I paint it until the it made sense to, with the eyes so yeah but he's definitely one of my favorite babies like I'm so like so so in love with with him I sometimes I, I I don't know sometimes I think I surprise myself because I again I'm not fishing for compliments or anything like that I'm just telling you guys how I feel sometimes I don't feel like I do as good with some babies especially awake babies so I was really really excited about the way he turned out I was really really happy with him I was like praying when he got mad at that he didn't change as much and he didn't and so um I was really happy because sometimes the details mute out or something become too much after matting so I just never know after the matting process um I still haven't gotten to the point where I could really gauge it um so I just I'm really like at the mercy of hope what is that um so yeah look at him <laughs> like he is actually cute without a hat on without hair like let's see like he he really is like he's really such a cute baby his his sculpt is very realistic um and there's you know but everybody knows that um Claire Tell is a master sculptor master artist um she is definitely she definitely set the tone for most people something is in here I don't know how something got in here. No, 
I'm in Florida, so. But, um, yeah, I definitely feel like, and he sucks his thumb. He actually sucks his thumb really nice, too. But I also like to put the other hand in his mouth. Um, but, yeah. Yep, so I really, really adore him. And that is it. I just wanted to come and share him get changed he'll probably be in that for a while I don't like because I have quite a bit of babies I actually um don't change them as much and then plus I'd be so busy painting now I don't get to change them as often as I used to um but we'll get there so this is Brayden <laughs> I have to pull the light, see it. When I move the light, the shadow comes off of him. It's overcast. Not overcast, maybe. And it's really dark outside, actually, while I'm recording, just in all honesty. Um, it's the only time I get time to do my videos and stuff because I have so much work to do. I don't have time to do this stuff any other time. But yeah. But yeah, just thought I would get him on and we will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Uh,